Hello, Kyle here with Waters West Fly Fishing Outfitters in Port Angeles, Washington. We've gotten a lot of attention for some posts we've made about surf perch fishing, and a lot of people want to know what flies to use. So today, I'm going to show you how to tie a very simple and very effective surf perch fly. Alright, so to start the fly off, we're going to use a Gamakatsu SS15 in size 4. Any saltwater hook with a reasonably long shank is going to work great for this. I like these hooks because they're sturdy and they're pretty affordable and they're sharp. So lay down a thread base so we can put on our dumbbell eyes. Dumbbell eyes on these flies are very important because you're going to be casting it into pretty fast moving surf and breaking waves and you want it to get down as fast as possible and also with the dumbbell eyes it'll ride hook point up so it's not going to get dug through the sand and dull your hook up. lash these eyes on pretty tight because this fly takes a lot of abuse. And just do quite a few figure eight wraps and then a couple wraps underneath. That'll help keep it from spinning. Work your thread back to just about the point of the hook. Double check your eyes and make sure they're positioned how you want them. At this point you can add some super glue to help secure them. I usually just put a little dab of Solares Bone Dry on the top and bottom. And then give it a quick cure with your UV light. Once that's done and your eyes are nice and secure, grab some polarized angel hair or any other flash of your choice which we are going to use as our tailing material. This fly <clears throat> is pretty closely based on Bob Moore's surf fly with the addition of a couple other elements that I just thought were fun. So take your angel hair, double it over your thread, wrap it back and secure it. So on a trout fly, you don't have to worry about things being perfect. You don't have to tape or cut your materials. You can just kind of give it a snip at about the length of the hook shank, a little more, a little less. Doesn't really matter. Don't have to worry about it being super clean. For the next step, I'm using large crystal hackle and fluorescent orange. Find the end of it there and lash it down. Real good. Wind back on it. Make sure it's secure. Advance your thread forward to just behind the dumbbell lies. And with any other hackle type material, just pull this back and kind of palmer it. A little moisture either with water or some saliva definitely helps manage it. And I usually do about 8 to 10 wraps depending on how tight you wrap it and the size of your hook. You just want it to stop about a quarter inch, eighth of an inch behind your dumbbell eyes and then tie it off. Give that a snip. Wet your fingers and kind of pull some of that material back, some of those unruly fibers and make sure it's real secure. For the next part, I'm going to use medium hot orange cactus chenille. Cut off about a 5 inch chunk. And just like with any other chenille, use your fingernails and pull the fibers off to expose the braided core. And then tie in that tag nice and secure. Trying to get a couple more of these fibers back out of the way. And then advance your thread to in front of the dumbbell eyes. Take your cactus chenille, do a couple wraps behind the eyes, and then you're going to want to wrap it over the eyes to create a nice big head. And 
tie that off right in front of the dumbbell eyes, leaving a little space behind the eye of the hook. And snip. These flies are incredibly durable. I've caught 20 fish on the same fly and the only thing that really kind of fell apart was some of the fibers in the tail. And then for the last step, I'm going to be using some orange barred cleared rubber legs. You don't have to have the rubber legs. I like them. Rubber legs are fun. And just take a pair, flip the fly upside down, double them over your thread, like so. And start them right behind the eye of the hook so you have a little bit of room to wrap back over them and kind of get them to lay a little more flat. And from here, you can just build up a nice bright thread head and give it a whip finish. Cut your time thread. Then usually with the rubber legs, I like to grab them, give them a little tiny bit of tension and cut them about at the bend of the hook. And then to finish the fly, you can just throw on another dab of that UV. You can use head cement, you can use super glue. I like the bone dry because it's fast, convenient, and the little brush it comes with makes it very easy to apply. And that's pretty much it. Play around with the colors, play around with different materials. I'm sure it will all work just fine.